And time, now I want you to just add a jab and every time you move. So if I step forward, I throw the jab. I step back, I throw my jab. I move to the side, I jab. I move to the side, I jab. So I'm just practicing beating out this hand. Every time the first foot moves, I just simply put the jab. Right? Makes sense? Then I know, go. You say forward, back, side to side. Feel free to move around however you want. So if you're not quite sure how to move around, you can forward, back, side to side. And time now working into what we're going to call the blitz step. And this is a concept that I've been working on with people coming. And the concept is somebody's moving away from me, and as they're moving away from me, I have to be able to follow them and strike them at the same time. But if when I do that, I'm walking through, or I'm just like trying to step through, I might not be able to cover the ground quickly enough to be able to be effective. So the blitz step, what it is, is I blitz forward with one side, and then I blitz forward by pushing off my other leg. And then I step in, and I'm following. Step in, and I'm following. So each one of those steps brings me forward a little bit. He also refers to it as the D step because you kind of make a little D pattern as you go. So as you're doing this through your square, I want you to start in the back of your square and actually just do the first part, just the blitz with the cross. So what I want you to do is don't you don't have to throw the right, you don't have to feel free, but I want you to blitz in and drop the right shoulder, blitz in, drop the right shoulder, blitz in, drop the right shoulder, and then step back in and do it again. If I throw the right straight, right, I'm thinking I'm blitzing in, stepping to the left, pushing off of the right foot. Right? I know, please go. Push off your back foot, is that right hand coming in? Or is you're pushing your right shoulder forward? Foot. Push out the foot, get that shoulder to come right through. Simply uh, lifting in to chase somebody, they're trying to leap before you got a chance to hit them. It could also be that I just know they're about to throw something and I step in quick, boom, and I hit the right. Hand. 
and time, I'm going into the left hook. As I do the left hook, I'm going to push up with my front leg. And so think about starting in the back corner of your square. And as I do it, I push up my front leg, and I'm coming forward and sideways at the same time. You should end up going from the back corner towards the front corner. You'll probably run out of space before you get that part forward, but that's kind of the, the, the angle you're going at, right? Make sense? Right. Take a swing at it, literally. Go! Here it comes. Take a swing at it. Let's see, it's sunny. Nice. Start a little more sideways, Sonny. So keep your body sideways. And then I push off this front leg. Boom. Right? But I start sideways and then I push off as I move forward. There you go. That's it. That's better. Right, because I'm pushing, I'm pushing off that foot and then it's in the box. Well, let's dive into I don't want to just stop here. I want to kind of get it. Because it could be a slow end and it's moving out of the way. And it's time, right? Now let's move them together. So I blitz in with my cross and I push off my left foot to throw the hook. Blitz in with cross, throw the left hook. Lift him across, throw the left up. You should be able to get two or three in and then step back up and do it again. Go to work! Here. Break it down nice and slow at first. Turn the right, step, hit the left. Shoulder, turn right, turn the shoulder, push off the left, push off the right. Left, right. Left, right. And quick left scissors. And time! 30 seconds free stretch! Have a seat right on my butterfly stretch. You're going to feel your hips and hamstrings, knees, you're going to throw rip breaking round out. Three 
it two more times. Jump right back up. There. Yeah. All right, so now skip front kick. Right, I didn't do this with the skip front kick first. So when I do my skip front kick, I quickly skip and I just take my front kick and I like that. So it's just going pop with back foot and then kick the front kick. Just do that for a moment. Go. 30 seconds. Yeah. All right, so now take that concept of the skip kick, and we're going to put it into the roundhouse kick. So now instead of it skipping forward to throw the kick, I'm going to skip to the side, and I pop my roundhouse kick at it, right? So, but instead of it just being stepped into the kick, I want you to think a little bit of a hop from the kick, right? It doesn't have to be too aggressive. It just needs to be that little bit of a hop from the kick from that way. Good work! Okay. And now switching over to the other side. So now I hop to the right side, throw the people to the left way, right? Short way to the top, throw the kick. Good work. Good work. And time, right? They're not just for fun. You're going to step in, you're going to go cross. I need to come back to the hook. I need to come back with your back like roundhouse kick, right? And they're all kind of lifting motion. So I step, I step, and then I step and you get with the back leg, right? Good work. Good work. Good work. Find this takes you right up through the square. Your goal is to move forward in your box. Don't stay in the place. I'm chasing the person down. I'm stepping, I'm stepping, I'm stepping. Punch, punch, kick. Good. And time. So as you guys are doing this, one of um, Tipu Kevin's term terminology for this type of a step, he calls it either the blitzing step or the Z step. The blitzing step I like because it helps you understand what you're doing is I'm blitzing in, I'm stepping in. I'm trying to be able to stab, stab, and I'm punching as I'm stepping, following this person around. I like the concept of the Z step because it helps you to remember like the Z, right? As I do it, I'm stepping to the left a little, stepping to the right a little, coming back to the left a little, coming back to the right a little. So I'm not just chasing straight in, but I'm angling the whole entire time, right? So as I do that, I stay forward, and if I have a center line underneath, so I'm here, I'm kind of on the center line, but then I kind of come across it a little bit, step back on it. I'm on the line, but my body is shifting from side to side. I'm on the left side of it, I'm on the right side. I'm back on the left side of it, but my feet stay on. So we kind of follow what I'm saying with this. Right? So my body's moving forward, and my line is kind of going forward, but my body should still feel like I'm hitting it. Right? 30 more seconds, go! Blitz some self defense. I'm going to hit some stuff. I'm going to try and try this out. Oh, um, Cam Jay, yeah, Cam Jay, yeah, Cam Jay, yeah, yeah. He said one of the knockouts was exactly what he did. He was running from him, he was wham, 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 w
time. And that's kind of 15 push ups on your own, and then first couple of knee crunches. Is there? Right. One. And everybody, stand right back up. And going into performance checks for self defense. Keep in mind, white belts don't need to have the self defense down. You guys are learning it, but you're not required. So I say double tell that, and you go, oh, which one is that? Don't worry about it. You don't need to have it down there. You guys, on the other hand, you better be rock stars. All right, so ready? Position! Yeah. And single pal grab! Yeah. 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 Right. Position! Yeah. Double pal grab! Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. Side shoulder grab, either side! Yeah. 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 Side shoulder grab on the other side! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And ladies, you probably won't need to know these ones at all. So feel free to just watch. Front choke! Yeah. 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 More intensity, yeah. side choke! Yeah. 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 Back choke! Yeah. 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 And this 
and almost like in an angle here. And then I can get used to push off this left foot and bring this right foot forward. So it brings me into range, right? So if I want to take it almost with a diagonal and out of range, I push, this is the tricky part, push off the left foot to make this happen. Your tendency is going to want to be to push off with the right foot. But I've got to push off the left foot and my right foot step through. Right? Make sense? Yeah. All right, give me a shot. Go! Yeah. Yeah. Nice. See it, Sonny? Boom. Nice. It looks good. And that's why the right foot steps, not step with the right. There's the difference, right? If I step with the right, I'm just doing this, right? If I push off the left, my right foot steps to catch my balance, right? You would be really hard pressed to push off this foot and not put that foot down. Your body will make that foot go there, right? So don't worry about stepping with the right. Just think push off with your left foot. I push off this leg to drive the power. My right foot's going to be there on that, right? So your body won't let it not be. Do it again, go! Drive your punches with your feet. Push out the right foot as you hit the right. Push out the left foot as you hit the left. Come on, 15 more seconds. Turn those shots in. Sorry, 
bucket and set. Good to see. High five, good morning, super fun here. Have a wonderful day out here. And relax, Sam. So, what have we been talking about on this one? Gratitude. What holiday happens to be fun? Thanksgiving was perfect timing, right? Almost like that. So, we've talked about what gratitude is. And you should really think of gratitude as that intense, happy feeling. I think some of you have something to worry about. Thank you so much, right? And it really would be gratitude. More so than just being like saying no thank you. It's really feeling that. And we've talked about why we should show it. Of course, you know, there's a great thing to do. Somebody does something nice for you, you should appreciate that. And then, of course, how the thank you, your letters, things like that. Now let's talk about the who's and the what's, right? So who are the who's? Yeah. Who should we show gratitude to? But who else? Parents. Parents, yes. Siblings, of course. Right, and that's one of the ones we're talking about this week is thinking about all of the people that make our lives easier that we never even meet. Right, the person that made your clothes, the person that brought your food to the store, the parents that went and brought and brought you home to feed you. Right, there's a lot of people that make our lives happen that we never see, that we never meet, that we'll never be able to say thank you to. But every day of the year, or certainly only one day of the year, you can say, you know, let me think about this week. Okay, even if all I'm doing is throwing out the universe, but I'm grateful to the people that have this as a support system like that, right? Universal lesson, that's what you think. Daycare workers, of course, because where would we put our children without people like you, right? Who knows? So, very important that we do this. The challenge that I'm throwing out to everybody, and I do stuff like this virtually every year this time, is sit down with a pad and write out how many things, people, whatever situation you feel gratitude for, right? And it could be anything from your mom, to being able to wake up tomorrow morning and see that it's 60 degrees and sunny, it's not going to happen. But if it did happen, I would be very grateful, right? And feeling the sun on my skin, things like that, right? So think about not just the people and the things, but the experiences, right? That you value, that you appreciated over the time. Your vacation, sitting on the beach, things like that, right? See if you can get 100. That's going to be my goal this weekend. See if I can find 100 things. Relax, kids. Loud and proud, and they got to keep a student out of the martial arts. <laughs> I will live by the principle of the black belt. I will live by the principle of the black belt. Modesty, Modesty. courtesy, Courtney. integrity, self control, perseverance, and indomitable spirit. Who is the goal? I will stand positioned. Yes. Courtesy. Oh, in the end. Oh, you guys are Nice job. Sonny made it back in line. Sorry, Sonny. I don't know what happened. Did you see the whole class? Or did you get cut out at a point? 